What is up, guys? Welcome to another edition of Market Marauders. Being the market, one trade at a time. Give me a Market Marauders investment channel. Hope you find the best deals in the market. Uh, hope everybody's having a great week. Uh, so this is going to kick off the beginning of the week. So let's jump into it. Um, going to give you my top penny stocks under a dollar. I know you guys like the series, so I'm going to jump into it. First things first, make sure you check out the Sus Clothing Company. Uh, it is my clothing company. All proceeds do help the channel, so make sure you check that out. Link in the description down below. And also, if you like to sign up for Weeble and get four free stocks when you deposit $100 or more, I have a link down below in the description as well for that. So first, we have ticker sign R-E-E-D for Reeds. Uh, they have touched $0.68. Cents. Uh, so this was on the 28th. Uh, they are down. Uh, they went all the way down to $0.60. Cents. Um, and then today, they went up to... 64 cents, uh, but when closed, they went to 62 cents. Uh, overall, I'd say they are bearish, noted by moving average 10 line being below moving average uh, 50 line. So, indicators that I have are the moving average 10 line being above moving average 50 at 100, and then my second indicator is the VWAP, which is this green line being above the moving average 50, uh, and I mean, being over the moving average 10 line. Now, this is a 10 minute chart, so let's double check on the 30 minute chart. Uh, so a 30 minute chart they are bullish uh, so that's good for that one so I'll probably use a 30 minute chart for the rest of the stocks going forward because uh, to me it's a more accurate uh, representation because it's a longer time period uh, over the 10 minute chart um, so on the 30 minute chart they are bullish uh, so I'm going to go with that on this one uh, denoted by the moving average 10 being above moving average 50 and 100 but they haven't met the second metric which is VWAP being below moving average 10 so I'd say they are bullish with a bearish downtrend uh, starting to begin so those are the indicators that I use but on the channel you know we like to go over some background information so let's do that uh, Reeds is basically a company that makes ginger uh, drinks uh, so these are, these are some of the drinks they have there's our original one uh, which is fresh ginger root and lightest spice level uh, they have a very strong uh, ginger one and an extra uh, strong one so this is their light medium and strong but this is basically their main products that they make they have ginger energy drinks so this is like a five hour energy, energy drink uh, type of drink that they make so overall I've seen some of these products in stores uh, so you know it's not an uncommon name I just think that distribution wise um, it's kind of a niche uh, drink if they could expand their you know different types of drinks to have uh, things other than ginger drinks or other products I think that you know the company is definitely good uh, to go uh, from there but they kind of focus on ginger drinks uh, ginger energy drinks ginger candies uh, but if they expound you know upon that and make different flavors uh, with ginger in mind I think the company uh, would be poised to do uh, a little bit better so next we have Turkestan SDPI uh, they did touch 62 or 64 cents on here and this was uh, around Christmas so they went up on Christmas Eve to 64 cents but then afterwards went down uh, and have gone down sideways since then they ended the day at 53 cents um, but are still bullish that by moving average 10 being above moving average 50 and 100 and VWAP still being above moving average 10 so I think they still have a little bit more momentum more momentum left in them uh, to continue to go up so background information on them uh, so the company is superior drilling uh, products incorporated uh, and they achieved an as 9100d uh, with iso uh, 900 9001 uh, 2015 certification uh, for quality management systems uh, so getting iso certifications in like a manufacturing uh, company is a pretty big you know deal um, and I think, you know, it will help them uh, solidify them as, you know, a pretty good company. And it will also help them get a lot more uh, customers with that ISO certification under their belt. Um, so I think that's going to help the company long term. This information came out on the 9th. Uh, so with the ISO certification, I think that they will uh, continue to get more clients because of that. So I think in the long term, they definitely have potential uh, to go up from where they currently are at. Next, we have ticker sign NVIV for in vivo uh, they did touch 80 cents uh, this was on the 28th so today they touched 80 cents uh, they went down uh, a little bit to uh, in the day at 73 cents then after hours went down to 72 cents they are still bullish then about moon arch 10 line being above moon arch 50 and 100 which is purple and yellow line uh, so that's good uh, for them overall 
Um, I would like to see them touch this 80 resistance level again, uh, but more realistically, I like to see them touch this 78 cent level, uh, which seems to be a spike right here. So this spike is very close to here. So getting to the 77, 78 level, if it can go back there um, for tomorrow, um, then I would say, yeah, it's going to start um, an even higher bullish uh, run up. It still has hit both of my indicators, being that the VWAP is above moon average 10, and the moon average 10 line itself is above moon average 50 and 100. Uh, so I'm going to be keeping an eye out on this one for tomorrow for a potential early morning mover. Background information on them, I uh, didn't really see any news articles from them on their website. The latest one is from 26, uh, the 26th of October uh, 2020, so pretty old news, but they had an uh, initial... Uh, public offering or they had a public offering of 15 million dollars uh, then they closed it so they basically gained that 15 million uh, to help you know increase their company and I'm looking for a potential you know direction on how they're going to be spending this money uh, for potential earnings coming up uh, you know hopefully sometime soon so I'm looking for updates from them uh, but I think you know with that money that they have they now have um, a way to restructure their I guess not restructure, but a path forward for their company to do the different things uh, that they need to do uh, to, you know, help improve the stock value as well as the company as a whole. So whenever they have an update uh, or a press release on an update, I think it's definitely going to uh, be a positive move forward for the company. And lastly on here, we have Tigerson SLRX uh, for Solaris Pharmaceuticals Incorporated. They are bullish. They don't buy the Moon Arch 10 line being above Moon Arch 50 and 100. They did touch 99 cents, so almost went above a dollar. They closed at 91 cents today, uh, but still overall bullish. And they did touch this 950. So they're getting really close back to that uh, you know, 99 cent threshold. Uh, background information on them. Uh, these are just some of their press releases. So this came out the 10th uh, of December. Uh, so it says Solaris Pharmaceuticals received first installment of 1.7 million payment from Cancer, Preven Cancer Prevention and Research Institute of Texas. Uh, so that uh, is 1.7 million that's going directly to them. So I think that's pretty good news. Uh, this other one, uh, this came on the 22nd, which said they are going to participate in a biotech uh, showcase uh, digital and BIO at JPM, which is JP Morgan, uh, during JP Morgan week 2021. Uh, so that's going to be through January 11th through 15th. Uh, so that hasn't happened yet, but I think there'll be some pretty good information, uh, given during that, um, you know, actual talk, you can register, uh, to be a part of that conference. I'm, I'm not going to, but, uh, if you would like to know if more information about it, you know, you can go on their press release and figure out more information about it. Um, but I think they're going to be giving some pretty good updates. Uh, and, you know, talking to JP Morgan, you know, is a company that does do a lot of investments. So a lot of good information uh, will come from that uh, conference. And then lastly on here, this came out the 11th. Uh, so this came out the day after the first article. Uh, it says they announced exercise of warrants of 3.5 million of gross proce proceeds to be used for ongoing development of this drug that they're making. So um, I think they have a lot of things going for them moving forward. I'm interested to see, you know, how it performs around this week, the 11th through 15th, especially considering it's when that conference is going to be going on the JP Morgan 39th annual healthcare conference 2021. Um, so, <clears throat> you know, it's going to be talking about uh, the things that are developing. So potential new medicines, uh, patents with uh, pediatric cancers, solid tumors and other cancers. Uh, so they're going to be doing a lot of announcements uh, during this week for JP Morgan. So that week, I'll definitely keep my eyes out on them. But until then, um, I'm definitely going to keep my eyes out to see if it'll rally getting closer to that actual week. So there's the stocks, uh, penny stocks under a dollar. Uh, drop a comment down below to which ones you guys are looking at uh, under a dollar. It definitely helps everybody in the chat. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.